starting the day off as you guys can see got the fresh new shirt on right now guys got the xl never stop wrenching t-shirt on thing is super comfortable and it was clean up until today so it's officially gonna get dirty out to the rides right here i saw my last video you know that this thing is acting up on me you know I got the blue smoke again for the second time a few days ago and I'm kind of like curious on what it can be. So I'm honestly going to try a few things, you know, before I go and assume that it's, you know, valves, piston rings, a head gasket, whatever. I'm going to assume that before I go tearing into the motor or anything like that, that I can, you know, try a few things and maybe see if anything will change or not. So for starters, sorry to all you Mobile One users, I'm switching to the dark side. Question comes down to you guys. Is Castrol Edge better than Mobile One? Drop your comments down below, start a war down below, I'm curious. Anyways, I gotta get my jack real quick. I need to turn this thing around because as you can see, my driveway is complete trash, but I think I'm gonna park it right here. This is like packed down, there is stone under that, so I'm gonna back this thing up, get it right here, jack it up so I can drain the oil out. I'm really dying to see how bad this stuff is or whatever. The mobile one usually gets pretty dirty. Honestly. Now that's balling on a budget, guys. Just finishing up down here, guys. Just got to torque the drain bolt here. Let's look at this. Good old mobile one. It's time to see if the budget funnel is gonna work. Oh my God, this thing actually fits. You guys seen, I just changed the oil real quick. Hopefully it makes the car run somewhat smoother. So a lot of you guys suggested doing this. So the next step is to try a valve adjustment, which is going to be done probably tomorrow. And then after that, I'm also going to try changing the PCV valve and then take it from there. So hopefully this blue smoke issue disappears. Also guys, I'm going to pour an ounce of sea foam. Actually, I'll probably put just a little bit in the crankcase with the oil. And then when I get gas today, I'm going to put some sea foam in the gas as well. So hopefully that'll clean out some crud, carbon maybe. I'm trying to get my certain, I need two of my feeler gauges out without trying to make this whole thing a mess. Coming out to midnight right here. This thing has been parked for like a few days now. You're honestly probably wondering what I'm doing today. Well, as the title says, I'm literally gonna try to get this thing running good it's currently making some valve noise right now so i feel like something's going on in there maybe there's a a valve that's off or maybe could be something else potentially but today i'm gonna do a valve adjustment again because it has been 40k or 50k since i've done the last one so i'm hoping that this will maybe you know quiet the car down and hopefully make it run a little bit better so let's get wrenching. So all this right here, this all has to come off. I gotta take off my, yeah, I gotta take off my valve cover. So first I'm gonna take the cowl off and everything. You guys know the deal. So I did make a valve adjustment video before. So I'm gonna drop that link down below if you guys wanna check that out. The only thing about the clearance, I think for the exhaust side, you wanna use instead of a, a .0, one two you want to do a uh, point zero one one so i'm gonna try doing that because i feel like i feel like one or two is off right now Also, 
also before you guys are doing a valve adjustment make sure that your engine is cold do not start the car before if you drove it around you need to wait i don't know i would say six hours to eight hours it needs to be under a certain degree i think it's 100 degrees fahrenheit i really wish i could keep this rain guard off because it's kind of a pain to get off and i take it off like every other time i work on this thing but it does serve a purpose and it's called a rain guard for a reason. So if I didn't have this, I would literally have water just dripping right onto my air filter as well as onto my valve cover. All right. And there we go, guys. Now we have access to the whole valve cover. I have to try to, uh, well, I gotta pull my plugs first i gotta pull my coil packs my plugs real quick and then disconnect a few things on the right side here and then i should be able to pull the valve cover right off on the whole assembly here i'm just gonna tuck this assembly all this in the back there near the back firewall so see if i could do this just tuck this into the back now like so hopefully that stays out of our way there i can pull our dipstick out right now there are two 10 millimeter bolts for like a whole bracket assembly on the uh, side of the valve cover. I'm going to go ahead and undo those two screws so that I can fold this bracket back and pull the valve cover up. All right, that is out. Put our two tens in the bolt holder right there. So this is this assembly is all free right here. All I need to do now is disconnect this, uh, my elbow bracket here for my intake off of like the breather hose. Now we can pull the plugs, got my magnetic spark plug tool here. Four on the front and then on the back, there's two behind these two slots right there. So get those out as well, all 10 millimeter. Pry this thing upwards. As you can see, it is going, but it's gonna be kind of tough here because this thing hasn't been out in a while, so. All right, I think I got it. All right, guys, as you can see, the valve cover is officially off. So we're gonna quickly go ahead and cover our cylinders, the chambers right now, so anything doesn't really get in there. And then we can go ahead and get right onto the adjustment. Look at those cams, man. Holy Christ. This thing's actually relatively clean inside. I'm surprised. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the Skunk 2 Alpha is holding up pretty well. I really need to, the goals are, and I wish I could do this today, guys. The goals are to port and polish my intake manifold. I wanna clean this whole thing up. You know, maybe even paint it. And I wanna wrinkle red paint my valve covers so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do that today but i know a lot of you guys are saying like dude you should do this and those are definitely my plans when i got the car i told myself i want to clean this up and i want to do the valve cover but that's going to be another day it's going to be a nice day i'll pull this thing apart now i need to jack the car up and i need to take this wheel off so that i can get access to the crankshaft bolt which i think is a 19 millimeter so i can rotate the engine and this one is for k series i'm going to show you exactly where i jack up my car for you bro i'm underneath here it's kind of hard to see but as you can see the front of the subframe is right there if you look under the car when you have it jacked up there's a little square bracket like thing and that is always where I jack my car up in the front. So I can just, it makes things a lot easier than going on the side here. Cause first you get to jack up this side, then you gotta go around and jack up the other side when you can just jack up one spot and have both of the wheels raised up for you already. So this is gonna be my jack stand for today. Oh boy. I think that's, that sounds like a wheel bearing guys. I don't know. gonna look something just like this guys and we're gonna be rotating it 
clockwise, guys. The K20 rotates clockwise. So as I rotate that down below, we're gonna see our camshaft start to rotate, and then I can get those into top dead center. So once you have that extension in there, guys, I have it right in cylinder one. You can start to see that raise up all the way as we approach top dead center and it should stop right there so now that's top dead center the car is top dead center well it's kind of hard but there's two marks and then there's going to be one on the chain which is that arrow pointing up right there so we got some play on these but they seem kind of normal exhaust is normal still gonna adjust them though because I already got this far so let's go ahead and get our feeler gauges I got those right over here and I forgot to show you guys this sweet tool that I'm finally gonna get the chance to use today and it's a jam nut valve adjustment tool so what it has is a holder for the nut which is right here and it has a flathead screwdriver built right into it so it's literally two in one and it's better than holding a wrench and a feeler gauge and trying to go off it by that so you guys can see i have my intake valve right here and it's going to be 0 0.009 and then for the exhaust it's going to be 0 0.011 guys so keep that in mind All right, guys, just finishing up cylinder number one intake side, then I can move to the exhaust. And what you're gonna do, guys, once you're done adjusting, you're gonna torque these down, those little nuts that you cracked open to get loose. You gotta torque the intake to 14, and then the exhaust to 10 pound-feet. All right, guys, just finishing up here. I did cylinder number one is officially done adjusted intake and exhaust i did cylinder number three intake exhaust now i'm doing four intake and exhaust and then the last one will be two so hopefully the camera doesn't die because my gopro is literally about to die out my other battery is on the charger now so if i die you know why you guys have no idea how bad I want to freaking paint this thing right now. I just went to go clean it off a little bit. I sprayed some brake cleaner on the outside and literally everything, all the paint is peeling off. Look at this. So I really need to get that nice red finish with this thing and I think it'll look super good. But for now, I'm going to have to run it. I got to replace, next time I take this thing apart, I got to replace the grommets on the top because this one's leaking in the corner and then i think there was one in the back that was leaking so god i want to repaint that thing so bad so let's get everything back together i cleaned i cleaned all around the mating surface for the gasket so now i gotta pull my honda bond on each four corners and then i can go ahead and put the valve cover back on along with the valve cover gasket Hoping that that's gonna fix the valve issue with the valve noise as far as the smoke. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. I do plan on upgrading my exhaust again as well. And I have another couple goodies coming on the way. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. So, so if you like this vlog, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below and subscribe for some more Honda content and a few of you guys had mentioned like you want to see more and like my daily life and like the things that i do during the day like you know who i hang out with you know what do i do besides maybe working on the car so i'm definitely going to do more vlogs as the weather is getting nicer so i feel like that's gonna open up some new content and some more followers for the channel and keep you guys entertained so if you guys want to see more like personal vlog style videos Drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. And remember, never stop wrenching.
Also guys, I forgot to tell you, I actually bought an interior mod, which is gonna look sick. I haven't decided when I wanna put it in yet, but it's a bride shift boot, and I think it's gonna look dope on here. So I'm also creeping up to 5K subscribers, guys. I cannot believe that I made it this far. Couldn't have done it if it weren't for all of you guys. So therefore, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 5K subscribers. I'm not sure what I'm gonna give away yet, but it's gonna be something sweet. I'm gonna keep updating you guys and letting you know once we approach the 5K count. So drop your love down below and let me know if you wanna win that giveaway. So stay tuned. 5k giveaway coming soon. Peace.